Hello everybody. I am going to do a quick little tarot reading for you all. I was just inspired. I'm not wearing any makeup or anything. Um, it is late here uh, where I am. But yeah, I just um, shared my practical magic deck with you all and I just felt inspired to do a quick little reading. I'm going to do that. However, I am going to still pull an oracle card from this deck for you all. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for the collective, please? My name is Goretti, by the way, and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Please like and share my video and subscribe to my channel if you like. I would really appreciate it. All right. All right, spirit. What messages and guidance do you have for the collective? Messages and guidance, please. Holy Spirit. Messages and all right. One moment. One of them fell on the floor. Okay. Yes. All right. So, thank you. <laughs> um, two cards came out for you instead of one and I think they both go you know beautifully hand in hand um so one of the cards was purify or sorry rosemary which is purify so what I'm getting with this is cleansing um you know purifying your space uh, maybe using you know some sage like I did you know to cleanse uh my space before doing this or um, you know, it could be purifying your air, could be, um, cleansing your body. Rosemary is green, could be, you know, uh, taking herbs, supplements, uh, drinking, uh, you know, some green juice or a green smoothie, um, detoxing your body. I know it doesn't, sorry, it doesn't say detoxing, but I just get that, you know, from this card. And the other one is wisteria, meditation. I truly believe, um, you know, those, these two go hand in hand. So purifying your space, purifying your auras, purifying yourself. And with meditation, um, you know, this is kind of like purifying your mind, right? And not that the two have to go hand in hand, but what I'm getting from both of these is, you know, maybe you need to start... Uh, spiritual practice and by that you know that doesn't mean religion that just basically means you know practicing meditation cleansing you know maybe having uh, a little sacred space that you have that you do these things just getting into that habit starting off your day with you know some deep breathing maybe a little bit of meditation um, you know having a green juice first thing in the morning so you know I feel like this is a call for you to uh, really, you know, cleanse your, your body, your mind, your uh, aura, right? Green and purple might have uh, something, you know, to uh, of significance, right? I know I didn't pull the amethyst card, but I have, you know, amethyst here. I love amethyst, right? So that could be, you know, something actually in purifying just now I'm getting salt lamps, right? So purifying your space with salt lamps. I use salt lamps, you know, all the time. Um, so that could be something. All right. Wow. We're at four minutes already. Oh my goodness. I am just starting out. Um, and I'm not really used to this, so I am going to start with the Lucid Dreams Beginner's Tarot from Saint Soleil. Um, such a beautiful deck. So, gold foiled. I'm going to start off uh, with this. All right, Holy Spirit, messages and guidance 
to have for the collective today, please. Messages and guidance for the collective. Holy Spirit, messages and guidance for the collective, please. I had some other oracles I was going to pull, but... Nope. <clears throat> Guess not. Just the practical magic. Such a beautiful deck. Um, I don't have the box with me, but here's the book. For any of you um, that maybe didn't watch my other video, Practical Magic, the movie with Sandra Bullock and, um, oh my goodness, why can't I think, Nicole Kidman, sorry, <laughs> that just like totally slipped my mind. Great movie. All right, Spirit. Messages and guidance, please, Holy Spirit. Two more shuffles. Messages and guidance, please, Holy Spirit. And what messages and guidance do you have for the collective place, Holy Spirit? Thank you. All right. Bottom of the deck before cutting the deck. The Sun card. I'm going to take that card because I saw it. This is the ultimate happiness card. This is joy. This is success. This is vitality. This is a positive outcome. This is optimism. This is confidence. This is happiness. All right. Cut in the deck. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck now. Hmm. Six of Cups. So, overall energy, nostalgia, childhood, um, or the past. This could be memories. This could be a person from the past. Um, this could be healing your inner child. We will see as we clarify here. All right. So... I normally don't do it like this, <laughs> um, but I am going to, all right, do a nine card spread, so past, present, and future and the potential outcomes. So in the past here, I have Knight of Pentacles. All right, Knight of Pentacles. So this is being, you know, practical, reliable, slow and steady wins the race, hardworking, committed, grounded, patient. Yeah. You know, working really hard and diligently at something, being very practical. Then we have the Nine of Swords. So this is lots of fear, anxiety, sleepless nights, overthinking, negativity, isolation. So I see that you were really steady and consistent working towards something. Um, that was causing you a lot of anxiety and depression and sleepless nights, fears, overthinking. And then we have the Eight of Cups. So I get that you walked away from this, whatever it was that you were, you know, I know this isn't the Knight of Pentacles, isn't the Seven of Pentacles, but I'm getting this investing energy into something. And you walked away from that, um, you know, moving on unfulfilled from a current situation, uh, walking away into the unknown, letting go, searching for truth, leaving a situation. So this could be a mindset or this could be physically actually, you know, leaving. We'll see as we go forward. Sorry, nose always gets itchy as soon as I start doing this. Um, so what we have in the current energy here is the star. So I see healing, hope, miracles, faith, North Star, purpose, spirituality, inspiration, positivity, inner clarity, 
So whatever you walked away from brought you to this renewal, you know, this new sense of hope, this faith, positivity and inspiration. And I see you here as the Empress, you know, look at her. She's glowing, glowing, creating, you know, things, abundant, maternal. This is the working parent, uh, male or female, right? Caring and nurturing, sensuality, you know, beauty. Um, could be pregnancy here, creation of life, maternal. You know, butterflies are, are around her here. She's got, you know, um, she's got the light around her, the sun, right? She's got the light from spirit here. So, and the dove right there, Holy Spirit. That's what that is. So, she's really connected to her spirituality. She's glowing. She's abundant. She knows that spirit has her back. She's birthing, you know, new ideas. This hope and inspiration led you to that. And we have the lover's card here. So this actually could be new love coming in or currently in your life. Um, you could be meeting a new love. This is divine love, a deep soul connection, harmony. You know, this could just be harmony in your life, right? Relationships, um, value alignment, unions, unity, balance. This could also be a choice. So this could even be just you, you know, getting back into balance and loving yourself and connecting to, you know, God and, you know, spirit and loving yourself and connecting to your higher power, connecting to, you know, divine love um, from your creator, right? So in the future here, we have the seven of wands. So seven of wands, this is standing your ground. This is boundaries, defending your position. This is perseverance protectiveness, protecting your territory. So you went through a difficult transition here. There was something that you were really, you know, diligent with and, and working hard at causing you, you know, uh, all this fear, this negativity that you had to walk away from after walking away that brought this new sense of renewal and hope, which led you to this Empress energy, which is so beautiful and to the lovers, you know, um, obviously either you made a choice or you, you know, are just, uh, loving yourself or connecting to divine love, having that harmony, maybe in your relationships and lovers can, you know, also be, you know, any other relationships that you have friendships, anything like that. Um, and then here you are going into the future. You're standing your ground. You've got boundaries. You're defending your position. You are strong. You're defending yourself, right? You're protecting. And then Ace of Swords. There's a breakthrough that comes. This is truth. This is new insights, new ideas, a vision, you know, focus, mental clarity. This is success. There's success here. So something caused you to have to stand your ground, set some boundaries, defend yourself. The truth is coming in for this, a breakthrough possibly, new ideas, mental clarity and success. And then eight of pentacles, you're going to be working hard at something. You could be learning something new. This is also an apprenticeship, mastering your craft, focus, dedication, hard work developing new skills, talents. This could also be commitment, but I'm getting more that it really is that whatever, you know, this new idea is, you're going to be really working on this because the potential outcome is the queen of pentacles. This is Capricorn. This is the Capricorn card. So queen of pentacles is nurturing, practical, generous, welcoming, 
She's luxur luxurious. She's caring. She's a homebody. She has got good business sense. So this could be an entrepreneur. This is the working parent. Um, yeah, she's she's got she's got everything. She's abundant, right? So <clears throat> the Empress, you're embodying this Empress energy. This Empress has everything that she needs. She's you know abundant. She's nurturing. Um, but then you got this Queen of Pentacles, who is very much in similar energy, but she worked hard to get there. The Empress just is this. You embody this energy when you're loving, nurturing yourself, right? This is self-love. This is, you know, knowing your value, knowing your worth. This is working hard to get there. She's sitting on her throne. You know, she's got good boundaries. She's worked hard. She's abundant. And she's sitting there just luxurious. You know, she's got everything that she needs. And she's loving life because she worked hard to get there. This is your outcome. All right. <clears throat> so, whatever was in your past that caused you to have to be so diligent and patient and grounded and committed to that caused you so much anxiety and worry and fear this you know i get this as a person from the past that you walked away from but this person's not really coming into this reading thankfully um we don't need to you know go into that you know you had a new new sense of hope rejuvenation, new faith, you know, you worked on healing, got into this Empress energy, then you made a choice, you made a choice, and you stood your ground, there's a breakthrough here with the Ace of Swords, clarity, success, new ideas, new vision, right, and then you're mastering your craft, you're focused, you're dedicated, you're hardworking, you're developing this new skill or this new talent, you've got high standards, and the outcome, the outcome, that queen of pentacles, such a beautiful outcome, right? And bottom of the deck, got to take this self-love and respect, unconditional love, courage, inner strength, compassion, strength. You have the strength that it takes to create this beautiful Queen of Pentacles abundant life. You've got what it takes. At the, the other thing is when you do a nine, nine card spread, um, at the heart of this is the Empress. You are the Empress. This is the energy that you embody, Empress or Emperor, right? Um, male or female, but you embody this energy, right? Holy Spirit is there guiding you. You've got the light just glowing within you. You're birthing these new ideas, butterflies everywhere. That's the transformation that you went through, right? Let's just clarify, what is this lover's card here about? I just wanna know, I'm curious. Is this new love? What is the lover's card all about? What is this lover's card all about, please spirit? And the overall energy, the sun card, right? All right. Nope. Nope, not in love. This was a choice that you made. Yep, I knew it. Okay. No. This was a choice that you made, clarifying the lovers. I got the two of cups. So this was, you know, um unity right this was a union a bond that you had a relationship okay this was about a relationship you already had um that you had the king of swords right this is mental clarity truth authority discipline high standards you made a head over heart decision in regards to your integrity 
This was about integrity and truth in regards to this union. You made a choice. And because it's the King of Swords, I also believe you cut this out of your life. Because justice is here. Balancing of the scales. Things were not balanced in this union. This is what you walked away from. Right? You made a choice to cut this person out of your life with the King of Swords here. To cut out this union. Um, and justice is here. Fairness. Karma. Cause and effect. Truth was revealed. You could be going through a legal battle, you know, with this person. Um, yeah. You made a choice to cut this person out and balance the scales. And because you did that... The world is here. Completion. The end of a karmic cycle. So this obviously was a karmic connection that you had. This was the ending of that cycle. And there's harmony here. Completion. Fulfillment. Yeah. This cycle ended. You ended this cycle by cutting this person out bringing justice and this is why you are now guarded right you have boundaries you're standing up for yourself right and you could be doing it because the justice card is there could be you know to do with court this could be to do with you know justice and and you know the legal system and judges and you know the truth right that could be what you're working on as well but I believe that you're working on something here for yourself. Uh, because at the bottom of the deck, sun, happiness. This is about your happiness. This is, you know, pure positivity. This is joy, success, vitality. This is a positive outcome. Happiest card in the deck. Right? Unicorns and cherubs. All right, spirit. Oh, top of the deck. I have to pull this card. <sighs> Queen of Wands. Look at her. This is you. After all of this, this is you. Right? Queen of Pentacles. Strength. Queen of Wands. Confident, independent. This is my, you know, um, confident, independent, self-assured businesswoman. Right? Social butterfly. Creative, self-assured. Passionate, determined, charismatic, vivacious, optimistic. This is what you're embodying in the future. This is the outcome as well. So, look at you. Look at you. Like, how could, how much better can this get? Look at that. What is that? Wow. The Empress. The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely, like, beautiful. All right, spirit. And let's get some advice. What advice do you have for the collective in regards to this reading, please? Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for the collective in regards to this reading? <clears throat> wow. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to take that as well at the bottom of the deck. Oh my goodness. I always find the bottom. Oh, <laughs> like a whole story on its own. All right, so anything else? Do you have any other advice? I will show you the cards right away. Any other advice? Please do it. Any other advice? Any other advice? Beautiful. Any other advice? Please do it. Let's see. Oh, ringing in my ears. Oh. Advice for you, Spirit. What else do you have for the collective? What else do you have for the collective, please, Spirit? Alright. Alright, Spirit. Here. All right. That's a lot. Anything else? Anything else here? That's a lot of cards. 
All right. Final shuffle. Any other advice? Or that's just a guidance piece of this for the collective advice. All right. Okay. Here we go. So. Right out the gate, magician. Manifest. Manifest. Manifest this. Manifest the life that you want. You're working on manifestation. Focus on your creativity, skills, right? Turning visions into reality. Whatever this is that you're working on, right? These new ideas. Turn those visions into reality. Inspire yourself willpower desire resources you have the ability to create the life that you want whatever you want you have what it takes you have all the tools you need page of cups yep dreamer right new ideas um innocence inner child curiosity possibilities your head in the cloud so dream dream what it is that you want manifest that dream manifest those dreams manifest those dreams manifest your ten of pentacles whatever that is and actually speaking of dreams this is wish fulfillment right Manifest your wish fulfillment. Manifest your Ten of Cups. Right? Ten of Cups is wealth, financial security, long-term success, family, leaving a legacy, your inheritance wealth. Right? Family. This is the everything card. Manifest that and wish fulfillment, contentment, satisfaction, emotional richness, an abundant life, success, achievement, pleasure. You can manifest everything that you're dreaming of. Queen of Cups, this is my self-love card. So, be compassionate, warm, caring with yourself. Heal that heart chakra, be in the flow, be supportive and empathic to yourself, okay, in this process, after whatever it was that you went through, three wands, waiting for your ships to come in, you know, once you are manifesting and put in the work, wait for your ships to come in, wait for those results, because they are coming in, because the chariot is here, taking action, right, Success, moving forward with determination, you know, two opposing forces working together towards a common goal, right? Yin and yang, you know, light and dark. Nine of wands, right? Wounded warrior, persevere, be resilient. You know, that final push, set boundaries, you're tired, but you're close to success. It's that final push. Okay? Keep going. Keep going. That's what that card says. Four of Wands, 11, 11, if you're seeing that number, that has some significance. Your spiritual awakening, right? Connecting to spirit. Celebration, harmony. This is stability, unity. You know, this could be friends and family. Right? Getting together, gatherings, you know, create the stability within yourself. Create the stability in your physical life, physical world, right? This could be your home. Nine of Pentacles, right? Nine of Pentacles, this is independence. This is you being abundant, luxurious, self-sufficient, this is the self-worth card. Invest in yourself. Love yourself. Right? That's the key. This is financial independence. 
This is rewards for your efforts. This is success. This is achievements. This whole reading has success all over it. What else came out here? The final card that came out was the Hermit card. The Hermit. So this is your advice as well. This is going within. This is searching within for the light. This is connecting to source. This is connecting to your spirit, to your higher power, to God, to the divine. This is going within to connect to the light. The light that is within you. This is that, you know, spiritual journey. Going within for that spiritual journey. That's also what 1111 is. Right? Spiritual awakening. This is soul searching. This is, you know, withdrawal and, and being alone for a little bit. Okay? Doing that. Connect to the light. So that you can create this abundance. And, and in order to manifest, we do need to go within. In order to manifest, right? This is such a beautiful reading. This is whatever... You know was not good in your past with this past person that you let go obviously you overcame it you know um, justice was here the world card you made a decision you stood up for yourself right you are creating something new and you are manifesting like the ten of pentacles you know um, you're embodying this Empress energy, the Queen of Pentacles energy, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Strength. I mean, this is incredible. This is incredible. Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands, right? Defending yourself, standing your ground, right? Maintain your position. Fight off whatever comes your way. And you can do it. You have boundaries. This is blocking whatever negative is coming in towards you. Only allow the light in. You got this. And at the bottom of the deck, what is underneath all of this, underlying all of this, was the sun card. The happiest card in the deck. You've got the happiest cards here. The Nine of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, um, and the Sun card. Can't get better than that. Wish fulfillment. Manifest this. Happiness. Sunshine. Truth. Optimism. Pure positivity. Ultimate happiness and joy. This is success. All right that is what I have for you today my loves I hope this reading was helpful for you I know it was another long one hopefully um, you enjoyed this and please remember if this resonated for you um, great and if it didn't if just not your reading you know move on to something else um, hopefully this helped somebody and you know again my apologies if I'm a little bit slower I'm just starting out and if I can't remember everything you know to say on here if I didn't say it before my name is Goretti thank you so much for uh, joining me today for this reading please like my video share my video and subscribe to my channel I would absolutely love to have you thank you so much I wish you all peace love and light goodbye my loves